Right, in this video, we're going to deal with negative indices. So it says work out each of the following. So we've got 3 to the minus 2, 8 to the minus 2 over 3, 3 quarters to the minus 2, and 8 over 27 to the minus 4 over 3. So 3 to the minus 2, what we've got to remember is that a to the minus n is 1 over a to the n. So that gives me 1 over 3 squared, if I apply that rule to that. And then 3 squared is 9. So the final answer is 1 over 9. So 3 to the minus 2 means 1 over 9. B, 8 to the minus 2 over 3. This becomes 1 over 8 to the 2 over 3 using this rule up here. And now a to the m over n means take the nth root of a and then raise it to the power of m. So that becomes the cube root of 8. And then we have to square the result. So the cube root of 8 is 1 over 2. And we need to square that. And that gives me 1 over 4 as the final answer. So you need to make sure you do these in stage by stage not try to do too much in one go. C, 3 over 4 to the minus 2. So we've got a over b to the minus n is equal to, now what you do here is you take the reciprocal of a over b, so you write it as b over a, and then make the power positive. So this becomes 4 over 3 to the power of 2, and then just need to square the 4, which gives me 16, and squared 3, which gives me 9, so we get an answer of 16 over 9. And it's okay to leave it as an improper fraction. D, 8 over 27 to the minus 4 over 3. So first of all, we're going to apply this rule here. So we're going to write this as 27 over 8, and then make the power positive, which is 4 over 3. Then we remember here we need to take the cube root, sorry, the nth root, first of all, of a over b and raise to the power of n. So here we're going to take the cube root of 27 over 8 and then raise it to the power of 4. So the cube root of 27 is 3 and the cube root of 8 is 2 and we still want to raise it to the power of 4. Now 3 to the power of 4, so that's 3 times 3 which is 9, times 3 which is 27, times 3 which is 81. And then 2 to the power of 4 is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2 again, which is 16. So the final answer of 81 over 16. Again, it's okay to leave it as an improper fraction. So this has been a video to show you how to deal with negative indices. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.